guys, how are you today? My name is Andressa Maia, this is Falando Nisso, and in this video I will give you some tips that will help you to improve your pronunciation in Brazilian Portuguese. So, I've made a video before explaining how we classify words according to the stressed syllable. You can check the video here. Um, but imagine that you are reading a text and you see a word for the first time and you want to say this word but you have no idea how to say it. How can you guess the correct pronunciation? How can you find out where is the stressed syllable of a word? Okay, so if the word has an accent mark, of course, the stressed syllable will be the syllable with the accent mark. But if the word doesn't have an accent mark. So, here are three information that will help you to find the stressed syllable of a word. First one is every word that is Proparoxitona has accent mark, has an acute accent. So, if the stressed syllable of a word is the third to last, it will have an acute accent. Like in words, for example, médico, fábrica. Okay, so if the stressed syllable is the third to last, it's a rule it must have an acute accent so you don't have to worry because if it has an acute accent if it if it has an accent mark you can easily find the stressed syllable okay second information paroxytones represent the great majority of words in brazilian portuguese which means most of words in Portuguese will be paroxytones. It means the stressed syllable of most of words will be the second to last. Okay? And okay, I know that this still doesn't help much, but with the third information, you will have all you need. And the third information is if a word ends with R, L, Z, X, I, U, um, in, on, the word will be oxytona, which means that if a word ends with this, what I just said, the stressed syllable will be the last. So let's see some examples. Amor, sabor, melhor, lugar, altar, sofrer, subir. So all these words, they end uh, with R. They have no accent mark. But because they end with R, the stressed syllable is the last one. Let's go. Legal, varal, anzol, cristal, civil, papel, azul. Okay? They end with L, so the stressed syllable is the last one. Words ending with Z, com Z. Arroz, rapaz, xadrez, capaz. Eficaz, talvez, aprendiz, ok? Now, words ending with X, botox, duplex, pirex, durex, ok? Words ending with I, I, ali, abacaxi, caqui, bisturi, gibi, Guri. And I want to show you another word, another example. 
of a word ending with E that is oxytona. Falarei. Falarei is I will speak. It's the verb uh, to speak in the future. Eu falarei, I will speak. What I want to show you, what I want to show you is that I'm talking about the stressed syllable. So the strong sound will be the last syllable. But uh, not necessarily the letter E. So eu falarei, the stressed syllable is the last, rei, rei, because it is a word that ends with E. But the strongest sound is not the letter E. Do you understand? So eu falarei, the stressed syllable is the last one, but the strongest sound is not uh, in the letter E. It is in the syllable, is in the letter A, actually. It's the letter E, actually. Fala rei, okay? I hope you got what I mean. Uh, moving on, words ending with U. Tabu, menu, urubu, shampoo. And here we have other examples. Um, museu de grau. It's the same as falarei. The words, the word ends with u, but the strongest sound is not the letter. Is not necessarily the letter u, but is the last syllable. So the grau, the strongest sound is actually the letter. Ah, the grau, but it but it is in the last syllable, the grau. Okay. Words ending with in, capim, assim, boletim, amendoim, pudim. Okay. Words ending with um, algum, nenhum, jejum. Comum, atum. And finally, words ending with on, batom, bombom, marrom, cupom, edredom. Okay? So, if you see a word for the first time and the word ends with R, L, Z, X, I, U, in, um, on, you know. That when you say this word, you have to put uh, the strongest sound in the last syllable. The last syllable will be the stressed syllable. But if you see a word for the first time, the word has no accent mark. And it doesn't end with one of this uh, case. It will be paroxytona, which means the strongest syllable will be the second to last. For example, escola, vizinho, sozinho, felicidade, caneta, estante. Okay? So, actually, that is it. I hope you could understand the idea and I hope it helps you um, to improve your pronunciation when you see a word for the first time and you have no idea how to pronounce it. Now, you can find out. Okay? I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.